everybody, let's get to work. This week on It's a Living. I just passed the Sergey Bears. I experienced the highs and lows, the ups and downs of working as a Toronto Maple Leaf. That really is quite a load. And I'm flush with pride as I test toilets. Darn it. And the best dressed man in Nova Scotia actually gets paid for his panache. Come on, everybody, let's get to work. And now, the hardest working man in the TV business today, Peter Jordan. It's Saturday night in Toronto, hockey night in Canada. Now, these are some of the best players from around the world. 22 of them make a living as a Toronto Maple Leaf. It's a job most Canadian kids have dreamt about, and I was sure no exception. Well, today, my dream is coming true, because I'm going to find out what it's like to work as a Maple Leaf. Hey, hey Chris, hey, buddy, how, are you, how you, doing? you doing? I'm doing great. Good. Good. Hey, you look wonderful. I feel all right. Yeah. So you're uh, ready to be a Leaf for a day? Ooh, a little nervous, but I'd, I'd love to give it a try. Oh, welcome to Air Canada Centre. 33-year-old Chris King has lasted 13 years in the National Hockey League. That's twice as long as most hockey careers. But it's not his scoring touch that has kept him employed. He's a top, hard-working team leader. He's been captain or assistant on three of the four teams he's played for, including the Leafs. The fact that I could wear the blue and white uh, at the end of the National Hockey League at level has, has been very exciting for me. And, uh, you know, the old cliche dream come true, but in this case, it really was. The dream started when eight-year-old Chris met his hockey hero, Daryl Sittler. From that moment on, he knew how he wanted to make his living. Now, the first step to my dream job is to meet my teammates. Gee, I like the sound of that. I start at the top with team captain Matt Sundin. Hey, Hello, Matt. Nice to meet you. Nice Matt, to meet you, too. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Heard a lot of good things about you. <laughs> Cut it off for the team. Sore shoulder. Sore foot. Wow. Uh, sore everything. A hockey player's working day is spent just, taking uh, care of his body. Elite athlete that's resting. <laughs> Gary, this is a new kid, Pete. Hi, Pete. How are you? I'm well, you thanks. Um, Gary Vault, I'm Chris, really and their sure teammates follow a daily Gary's fitness a routine. Yeah, Chris. Oh, I can't, uh, I can't believe how physical this job is. We haven't even gotten the ice yet, Pete. <laughs> it's not unusual to spend more time on a bike than skating. Oh, you play 82 games and uh, you spend most of the summer preparing for, uh, for the upcoming season. For a guy like me to survive, I've got to be in the best shape I possibly can, and this is part of it. Good job, buddy. Now we have to skate? No, then we, now we got to stretch. Oh. Well, the only thing I'm stretching here is my imagination, thinking I can work with stars like Cujo, Thomas, and Sundin. Maybe curling is my sport. Oh, God. Might be a little inflexible. Oh, God. What are you carrying in there? It's also pretty evident my smelly old equipment isn't going to cut it here. There are seven support staff like Scotty who make sure the players have everything they need to do their job. You're a million dollar investment now. They got to take care of, uh, you know, got to take care of their investment. So. Wow. They want you protected head to toe. Hey, I'm... You know what I'm thinking? Best protection? Six foot eight, 250 pound Chris McAllister on my side. You look bigger on uh, real life uh, than you do on the ice even. And you look big on the ice. <laughs> He's one of those guys you gotta watch out for. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, I'd if you're, if you're, really like to be friends with him. Well, if you're playing defense, you know, he might feel he's gonna try to take his job, so be nice to him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that must be the hard part. You, you, you don't know whether that guy is there to compete for your job yeah. or... Well, generally, you know, you, there's 26 teams, there's 600 players, and I mean, now you're one of the elite, you know, one of the few that are in a National High League dressing room ready to practice with the Leafs. We're going now. This is important, okay? We got the stuff, but this is what it's really all about. Toronto Maple Leafs. No, wow. a couple rules, okay? Yeah. Wear it proudly. Never let it hit the floor. Okay. A few rules, that's it. Okay. But hey, I got some pulls. Well, good thing about being one of the older guys. Yeah. You got a little in with the coach. You and I are line mates today, buddy. Oh, great. Uh, okay. And so yeah. you look after me. like. You uh, sound excited about that. <laughs> Most guys don't feel that way, but yeah, we'll, oh. we'll take care of you. Probably go through a 45 to a, an hour practice. It's about a four or four and a half hour day at the arena. I don't know. Oh boy, talk about being on thin ice. I mean, never mind playing a game with these guys, okay? I can't even keep up in practice. I mean, look at the, whoa, what was, I need new jock strap. I mean, they're so fast, they're so big. I don't understand their drills. There's this blackboard thing. Now, what was he talking about on the chalkboard today? Uh, 
Well, you didn't understand that, eh? No, I didn't, know. Well, you and pretty much half of us. And I'm learning that if you're a Leaf, every moment of every day is under scrutiny. Even at practice, the stands are full of agents and media and hockey icons like, hey, there's Johnny Bauer, and fans waiting for autographs. Crazy Russian, very skilled Russian, just some kid. For this drill, I'm playing with Yuskevich, Berezan, and Adams. Clear him, Pete! Oh! Yeah, you know, I know it doesn't look like much, but in my head, I'm in the middle of the Stanley Cup. Oh, you go, Pete! I just passed the Sergey Berezan! Oh, it's done! A couple breakaways, Pete? Oh, that'd be great. This is a real test now. Okay, other than drinking from a water bottle, one of the most important skills that players practice over and over is their surefire breakaway move. That's your best move? No, I, I'm, I, I'm saving my best move. Oh, okay. That's in in soccer. Okay, here's the best move I've got. All right. yeah! Johnny Bauer's thinking if there were more players like me, he'd still be in the league. All right, I'm zero for 15. My last chance, miracle on ice. All right, maybe it wasn't Henderson's goal, maybe it was just a practice, and okay, maybe he let it in. But for one brief moment, I felt like a real professional hockey player. And after practice, after you work as hard as we did, this is the way you kind of reward yourself. But even here in the hot tub room where you relax, there's this reminder of how little job security there really is. Remember this guy here, Eddie Olchuk? Oh, yeah. I can trade him. I can trade him. On the wall are all the names of the Leafs who have been traded to other teams. That's part of the job, it's not, uh, not the greatest one. Can I sign a shirt? For Chris, one of the greatest things happens off the ice, like this visit to the Sick Children's Hospital. As a player, we have a responsibility to, uh, to give something back. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Chris has been honored with the NHL's King Clancy Award for his work with Ronald McDonald so, House. Do you have any idea when uh, there'll be families in here? His passion for helping others comes from a very personal experience. That's nice too. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's his brother was diagnosed with leukemia and needed a bone marrow transplant from his sister. The fact that he got better it allowed us as a family, entire King family, you know, to uh, decide we were going to give uh, something back. It's game day. Coach Quinn is deciding who is going to play, and it's clear he likes Chris King. He's a man of terrific courage. He recognizes, he has the talent to recognize uh, how to change a game some nights. Equally clear is my hockey future. That you don't have a prayer. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? I'm going to go down to my team in, in the beer league and keep working hard, though. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's starting lineup for your Toronto Maple Leafs. For Chris King, every night is just like the first night he stepped onto an NHL ice surf. And every time I walk out of that dressing room, second last, and walk onto the ice and the lights are on and the people are there and the screen, I get the same feeling. When you're on the ice and you're playing, it can draw you back to, uh, to your roots and back to, the, back to what was really fun. Do I like my job? No, I don't like it. I love it. Don't go away. I try some of the safest, most relaxed jobs in the world. So, Todd, I'm wondering what do you do when you when you go home and relax for the day? Oh, <laughs> the same thing we're doing right now. 